Hello, I'm Captain Ted Jones, host of Pleasure Boater TV, and I want to talk to you about one of the greatest safety devices that's been invented in recent years in the marine industry, and that's the signal mate. Why is it a safety device and why is it so important? Because it controls your horn and any light you want. The horn gives the general direction and the light pin points exactly which vessel is signaling. And we'll give you a complete demonstration on how it operates after we show you how to install it. Basically, it controls the horn and any light you want, as we said, for any one of these functions right here that I'm showing you. Or you can run just the light or just the horn. When we demonstrate it, I'll show you that. But right now, first, I want to talk to you about how to install it. First of all, find a location on your helm somewhere. Now, we're aboard a 57 to feet, but we're in the pilot house, and I'm going to put it down here in the pilot house. It could go up on the bridge just as easily. As a matter of fact, it can go anywhere in the boat because you only need a few wires, and anybody can install it that has a limited electronic knowledge. It's DC. Any voltage that your particular yacht has, most of them are 12 volts, some are 24. You can get a mount like this where it, it mounts on the surface, something like this, or you can have a flush mount. And I felt like in a pilot house here on a Defever should be a flush mount. With the flush mount kit comes this special bezel right here that you put around it. So the first thing you want to do is find a spot that you feel it'll fit just fine. We're going to put it up here. We already have a radio up here and some monitoring devices, a remote spotlight control, what have you. So we're going to put it about right up here. As you can see, it's just going to fit perfect. As a matter of fact, it looks like that this particular console was designed to put it up here. Now, before you decide that, we're, we've already removed this hatch right here. We want to look back in here and make sure there's no obstruction because all of this is going to be behind this. This is wood. You could mount it in five glass or anything like that that you want to. I drill a hole in each of the four corners where I can insert a jigsaw blade. Then I insert the jigsaw and cut out the rectangular space. Now, make sure that the signal mate will slide into that space nice and snug. But before we do that, we have to remove the portable 12 volt output socket that is for a searchlight or spotlight. To remove that socket, I merely unscrew it here on the inside and disconnect it, pull the spade lugs off, take the socket out. Now the signal mate will slide nice and easily into the hole we've cut. If the hole's a little too snug, I can take a file or a rasp and kind of work on it just a little bit so it'll fit in a nice snug hole. Now that I've done that, I'm ready to start connecting the wires. The supply voltage can be directly applied to signal mate with its fused input and protected outputs for portable applications and where a dedicated switch or breaker not be available or desired. First of all, before you connect any wiring, take the fuse out of the signal mate. You can reinstall it later. Choose a wire size that fits the amperage and voltage that you're using. Now, most boats use it 12 volts. Some have 32 volt or 24 volt, depending on what your particular installation is. Feed the wires from the horn and light through the rubber grommet or strain relief on the back plate of the signal mate, allowing a little extra wire for a service loop. Connect the wires to the signal mate from the horn to the wire-ready terminal block marked horn. Positive voltage. You don't have to run a ground if you're using the same ground that's being used for your horn and your light. Connect the wires to the signal mate for the 360 degree or anchor light to the wire-ready terminal block marked light. Again, only the positive wire need to be connected, that is, unless you're using a separate negative wire. Connect the positive voltage wire supply to the wire-ready terminal block marked power. Then connect the negative voltage supply wire to the wire-ready terminal marked power. Now in DC voltage, red is always positive, black is always ground. If you have several red wires like we have here, you can always remember by tying a knot in a wire, the old code, the knot is hot. The output of the signal mate is solid state with shutdown protection for currents that exceed 20 amps. Current in rush limits are set at 90 amps to allow for motor startup circuits and large filament bulbs. Now we're ready to retrofit the signal mate wiring to a horn or an existing light. We're going to choose a wire size for the horn or light depending on the amperage and the length of wire and run from the signal mate to the retrofitting connection point. 
usually that's not going to be very far because you don't go to actually to the horn or the light. You merely go to the switch or the button you have on board the boat that controls the horn or light. Look here. We tip this panel up, and you can see there's the button for the horn. Now, we're going to take the red wire, and we're going to be sure and hook it to the load side. That's very important. Now, to figure out which is the load side, it's very simple. Merely make sure the breaker is on and you have power going to the momentary push button for your horn. Then take your voltmeter, put the probe on one side. If you have 12 volts, that's not the load side, that's the feed side. Go to the other side of the switch, and it should be zero until you push the button. As soon as you push the button and close the switch, obviously, you'll have 12 volts. This is the load side. The same thing will apply to our light when we get around to that. So this red wire is the one that we connected to the positive horn wire in the signal mate box itself. Next, we're going to hook up the light. Again, find the light switch for the anchor light or 360-degree light. Figure out which is the load side by taking the voltmeter. If you have 12 volts on one side, that's not the load side. That's the feed side. Put the positive lead of the voltmeter to the other side. You have no voltage without turning the switch on. That is the load side. Of course, when you turn the switch on, you'll have 12 volts. Now, if you connect the signal mate in this manner, that is using the load side, you'll still be able to use the horn and light switches independently. Now, I would test the signal mate before I permanently install it, in case you have a bad connection or something like that. So after you put it through its test to make sure that everything's working correctly, that is the horn and the light responds, you can go ahead and install the signal mate. To do that, we'll take our special flush mount installation kit, and what we're going to do is drill extra holes. You see, there are holes there that will line up with the front of the signal mate, and you can use the screws supplied with your signal mate to attach that special plate to the signal mate. But this time, what we're going to do is drill an extra hole. I'll show you what we're going to do with that in a minute. You can see the four holes being drilled. Now we're going to take that special installation plate and attach it to the signal mate. That is after we've removed the standard plate that came with it. Now you see why the four extra holes are there. We slide it into position, and we're going to take screws. If you have a very thick wood, you can just use a good wood screw. If the wood is not that thick, then what you're going to want to do is actually through bolt it by putting a screw all the way in with a washer and a nut on the back side. In this case, we have plenty of wood, so we're just using four wood screws to attach the signal bait to the console where we've decided to put it. Now with the signal mate completely installed, all the wiring hooked up, it's time to show you exactly how the signal mate operates. All three signal mate models, console, flush, and portable, operate exactly the same.